Yo, what is up everybody, man? I installed iOS 11.3 beta 4 on my iPhone 6s and we're gonna take a super quick look at it. And I do apologize for this review being late. I was gone, I was traveling a lot. I went to Canada and then I went to Florida and this beta dropped. I was able to install it on my daily driver but not on all these other devices and I knew I had to make this video. I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. And in the meantime, while I was gone, I actually made another website. I kinda wanna use it as a huge directory of getting the lowest prices for phones, cases, chargers, stuff like that. It's all linked on Amazon, so it's like all, you don't have to make separate accounts or anything. It's called flawlessphone.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It'll be the first or second link. And uh, that's pretty much my new project, so go show it some love. I really appreciate it. Um, Cause I show you guys love, you know, like, well, like well, this is mutual relationship. But with this update specifically, I actually found something cool about it. So when we hit photos, right, we go up here. I ran a benchmark before, okay, so I got 120, thousand and two and I just realized this isn't a good thing this is one of those devices where the benchmark actually went down for some reason and I reran it on beta 4 and I got a hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred sixteen so I'm not too sure why it went down on my 7 plus and on my iPhone 6 the score actually went up so I'm not really sure what's going on here but Overall, the overall performance isn't that bad, I'll be honest. The main problems I've been having are mostly around battery life. I really wish they were able to fix that because that is, you know, really crucial to me, especially when I would travel and stuff. My phone would die, I'd have to charge it. Like, it'd be like at 36% halfway through the day. I'd be like, oh my God, what's going on? Apparently, I'm like... a the only person who's having these problems because nobody else is talking about them but that's pretty much that with this specific update though there were just bug fixes and small improvements you know apple's gonna say that i can't really see them i'll be honest um especially on something like this but like even when i run these benchmarks i'm not sure why the score goes down you know it should be going up i mean i don't know are they improving it yeah maybe but I can't really see. Hopefully with the official version, it'll be like spectacular and like amazing. So should you update to a beta version right now? Absolutely not. Don't ever update your main device or even like your secondary device to a beta. You should wait. I'm only doing it because I have to talk about it. If I didn't have to talk about it, obviously I wouldn't be doing it. Don't update to the beta. It's pointless. You're going to wreck your phone or something like that. But the way things are going, it's looking like 11.3 is going to be pretty decent. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or answers or anything, leave that down in the comment section below. I read all the questions and I read all the comments. So leave something down there. I'm going to read it. Hit that like button. But more importantly, hit that subscribe button. We're pretty close to 30,000 subscribers. I'm already doing an Xbox One giveaway right now. So I'm giving away an Xbox One. And that was from hitting 20,000 subscribers. So now when the 30,000 hits, I'm planning on giving away at least one phone, probably multiple. I'll have to see depending on how fast we hit that. But dude, Hit that subscribe button, 30,000, another giveaway. I'm in all the social networks, you guys already know. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Check out flawlessphone.com. And more importantly, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I messed that outro. Bye, guys.